Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Paul. I am with East Wind SEO and I have partnered up with Royal Elevation to bring you this video showing you some tips on how to improve your online presence. So you talked with Nathan earlier about this video and I'm going to go over some content citations and backlinks. Uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. I have your website pulled up right here. Uh, I like this logo. It's really nice. Um, you know, you have your click to call button here, your email as well. Um, you know, some really good pictures flowing through here. You know, it's a well put together. It's a pretty simple website, but it is a well put together website. Um, you know, you got definitely with your, your reviews is always something that, you know, people like to see and some videos, you know, so because these videos are good because it keeps people engaged longer, uh, with your website and that in, you know, in turn, you know, tells Google that, you know, you're a, a website or a business that people want to see. Um, and it builds trust with Google. That's something you want to do. Um, so I would definitely recommend, um, maybe some more content. Um, and the reason for that is, you know, it allows you to put in some buyer intent keywords. So we always recommend at least 1500 words of content because that gives you plenty of room to put in those keywords, right? And so Google is going to crawl your website and they're going, to, they're going to go through all of your content. So when they do that, they're going to find these keywords and it's going to tell them about your business, you know, what it is you do, um, the areas you serve, you know, the services you offer. Um, it's going to tell them that you're a professional in the business um, and it's going to help them determine where they are going to place you within the Google search results. It's also going to help you, you know, show up for more searches because you're relevant to those searches that people are doing in Google because they're searching those keywords that are already within your content, therefore allowing you to show up in more searches. Um, so we're going to go ahead right now and go into a Google, Google search. Um, and the first thing we're going to see up here at the top are ads. So ads are a great way to get some clients, right? They allow you to target a specific audience uh, and, you know, get your business in front of the eyes of people that are going to go with your kinds of services because they're already searching for that. Uh, so as we move down, you know, we have our uh, Google Map Pack here. Um, this is going to be the top of the map pack. Uh, these are this number one spot. It's a sponsored spot. It's a paid for spot. So we're going to focus on the top three. You want to try and get up in there um, organically, and by doing that, you want to get citations. So citations are you know going to come to you by having your Google business profile filled out as much and as accurately as possible with all of your business information, and you want to get it into as many online directories as possible. Uh, that's going to be anything like Yellow Pages, Yelp, Angie's List. You know, there are hundreds of online directories to get your name into. Basically, you want to have more citations than these top three that are showing up in the Google Map Pack. Uh, moving on down from that, <clears throat> we have the organic search results. So Yelp being number one, you know, a directory, not something too concerning. You want to try and really focus on overtaking uh, your direct competition's websites, right? So if this T-Mark plumbing, uh, heating and cooling were, you know, one of those, you would want to try and figure out a way to overtake them. And we can do that by using a tool that I use called Ahrefs. Um, so Ahrefs is something that helps me look at how a website is performing, you know, what I might need to do to maybe gain more traffic, uh, you know, maybe work up the, on my rankings, maybe overtake a, a competitor, you know, anything like that. Um, so we're going to look at this UR and DR. I put you guys through it and the UR is a trust rating or how trustworthy your website is according to Google, the DR being a power rating or how powerful your website is. Now, these two numbers you generally want to keep within close ratio to each other while getting them up as high as possible. So your UR is doing pretty well. Your DR, you know, definitely room for improvement there, right? And there's always opportunity. Um, so you can definitely work on your backlink profile. Uh, so a backlink is anything pointing back to your website from an outside source, whether that be a comment blog or maybe another website. Uh, the key here is to, you know, get 
quality backlinks from referring domains that are, you know, their websites that are pointing back to you that are relevant to your service industry. You don't want random websites linking back to you because that's going to come across as, you know, spammy in Google's eyes. And you don't want that. It's going to throw up flags for them. Um, it's going to affect your numbers. It's also going to affect your ranking abilities in Google. So to bring up <clears throat> these numbers, you know, you want to look at your backlink profile. So we could definitely go ahead and take a look at these other guys, take a look at their backlinks, right? Um, they have a lot going on here. They're getting a good number of traffic. They have a ton of backlinks. So you could definitely go through their backlink profile. We could uh, see what's working for them, kind of weed out the garbage and the spam, um, and look at those powerful backlinks that's working for them, that's bringing power to the website, bringing traffic to their website. And we could go out and, you know, get those backlinks and add them to our backlink profile. Um, you know, we could do the same thing with keywords, right? We could go through all their keywords, uh, see what they're using. Maybe they're using, a, you know, some different combination of words that, you know, we didn't think of, something like that. We can add them to our content. Um, you know, and adjust as needed. And, you know, we can definitely see some results from that. Gain more traffic. Uh, because that's what we're trying to do, right? Get more traffic, get more business through the use of your online presence. Uh, this is another reason why I uh, stress the importance of that 1,500 words of content on your homepage because it allows, you know, your, uh, your website to show up in more searches on Google, so therefore, gaining or driving more traffic to your website. So with that being said, uh, those are the three tips that I have for you. I do hope you found them helpful. Um, you know, you could definitely implement these yourself or you could always reach out to us as well. Um, either way, we really appreciate you guys taking the time to check this video out. Um, you know, we really hope that it was helpful. You got some good um, information from it and Go ahead and have yourself a wonderful rest of your day.